Hello and welcome to the Racers TV. It's the final Metropolitan meeting for the season on Saturday here at Morfordville. It's Lightning Stakes Day. Should be a terrific program starting with the Hurdle, which is another heat of the Over the Rainbow series. On Wednesday, the final meeting for the South Australian racing season, we go racing at Murray Bridge and we kick off the new season on Thursday when we go racing at Gawler. Well, Shane Carr will ride perhaps South Australia's best chance in the Lightning on Saturday. Splash of Mowat. Shane, you must have been delighted with the way she came back recently. Yeah, she's come back brilliant. Uh, her win the other day was uh, superb. She she settled back in the field and, and had a great turn of foot on a, on a wet track and uh, probably the only horse all day to come from off the speed, so on a on-speed uh, bias track. What sort of a filly is she, Shane? Is she just a you know pleasure to work with? Yeah, she's great. She's got uh, a great attitude. Um, she's a pretty, pretty horse. She just does everything right. Um, she works as you want her to, you know, uh, doesn't overdo it, doesn't underdo it. You know, she just, she's a real professional uh, and she's got everything going for her. She's got a lovely stride on her and um, yeah, I, I wish there was more of them. I know you're a great student of form, obviously still a bit of water to flow under the bridge before Saturday's race, but uh, what are your early thoughts as far as the Lightning is concerned? Yeah, look, she's um, probably going to be one of the ones to beat, obviously. Uh, Moody's horse, uh, Thermal Currents, probably a big question mark because it's a two-year-old and, and had a had a let up after its last run and um, was probably going to be one of the favourites going into the Blue Diamond. So, you know, it's a big query. Um, I think uh, our horse is one of the best horses in the race and, um, you know, Sam Kavanagh's horse has got form on the board already. So, look, it's, it's going to be a competitive race, but uh, she's definitely going to be the one to beat. And Shane, you've got one other ride, MCC. It's a two-year-old back in race two, which uh, has trialled nicely. Yeah, he has. He's um, he's still probably uh, three to six months away. You know, he's he's still putting it all together, but he did trial well the other day, and um, he's got a few little niggling habits. But uh, hopefully, he can behave himself on Saturday and and do the right thing. And we should mention before we let you go, you became a dad last Sunday. Yeah, first first time, and um, yeah, it's it's brilliant. He's uh, he's a little ripper. And his name? Archie. Archie, and uh, what did he weigh in at? He's nine pounds, <laughs> so there's a big doubt about him being a jock. He's, uh, yeah, he's nine pounds and he's 55 centimetres long, so he's a big boy. All right, mum and son doing well? Yeah, they're doing really well. Um, you know, everything went smooth and, and they're both healthy and happy, so couldn't be happier. Fantastic. Let's hope it's a, a really great week with the Splash of Mowat maybe winning the Lightning on Saturday. Let's hope so. Thanks, Terry. Sam Kavanagh saddles up the unbeaten filly. Words are weapons in the Lightning Stakes on Saturday. Sam, you must be wrapped with the way she's progressed, this filly. Yeah, she's come a long way. She was sort of a, a horse that we leased from a stud in New South Wales. Um, you know, she was a, a, a passed-in lot at the sales and, um, you know, really thrilled to get the opportunity with her. Has she had some issues along the way? Yeah, she took a lot of time, actually. She didn't have her first start until May, but, you know, she sort of had a couple of little knee issues and, and things like that, but... Um, you know, she's just continued to take the next step every time we've done something with her and, um, you know, going into Saturday, I couldn't be happier with her. All right. Um, she hasn't had a race since May, so what's she done since that particular time? Yeah, I was getting her ready for the Creswick in Melbourne and she just had a bad blood and, and, and went to the paddock. I just give her a freshen up and she trialled pretty well here at Morpherville uh, two weeks ago. Uh, she ran the quickest time of the morning by a long way and, you know, her work leading up to the race has been outstanding, so, you know, she'll, they'll know she's there. All right. How long before we say goodbye to Sam Kavanagh and he heads off to Sydney for the next venture in his life? Yeah, I'm leaving Sunday. Uh, I'm going to go across Sunday to Ballarat. I've got two horses trialling and then up to Sydney and all my horses will arrive in Sydney next Thursday. So um, really looking forward to it. So this is your last runner on Saturday? Uh, I'll still have uh, some horses in work here uh, for about a month, but I'm not sure how many runners I'll have. Probably, there's probably not too many. Most everything will sort of kick off in Sydney from mid-August I'd say everything will trial up there and then get into racing so it'll be nice to uh, end the season on a high note. Okay let's have a look at uh, the two main races at Morfittville on Saturday. Race one is the Leslie Short Hurdle. This is the Heat of the Star Cruisers over the Rainbow Jumping Series. King Triton, well he beat a similar field last start. He's up to 69 and a half kilos on Saturday but he's certainly going to be hard to beat again. Demosa and Viking Tiger and Robert Smurden with a couple nominated three Royal Bees and Kingdom of War. Perhaps they are the main chances. Let's also have a look at the Over the Rainbow Jumping Series points situation at this stage. And as we can see, King Triton leading the way with 16 points. And uh, that also has his trainer Pat Highland on top of that same amount. Trent Wells leading the jockeys with Amy Herman. They're both on 14, but Stephen Pateman breathing down their neck on 12 points. 
The other main race at Morfordville on Saturday is the Lightning Stakes. It's the final black type race for the season. And uh, we spoke to two of the main players today, Shane Cale, who rides Splash of Mowat for Mark Minavini, and Sam Cavanagh with the unbeaten filly Words Are Weapons. And I do think of the Victorians, Thermal Curran for Peter Moody certainly looks to be the main player. Should be a great day's racing. Hopefully we'll see you at the track on Saturday. There's nothing like a day at the races.